The following program is brought to you by Johnny's Radiator Shop. For auto repair and air conditioning parts to fit everything under the sun, visit johnnysradiatorshop.com. All right, welcome Coach Embry. Glad to have you again. We're still at it, and uh, we're actually in the semifinals of the Class 4A uh, state playoffs. Great place to be right now for the Lumberjacks. Let's go back and talk just a little bit about the Stuttgart game. And last week when we talked, I think you used the terminology, this will be a dog fight, or I expect it to be a dog fight. Well, I guess that was a pretty good uh, description because that's exactly what it turned out to be. But Lumberjacks came out on top. Right, it did. You know, it, it was a lot like the first game. Uh, it was back and forth. And what people, you know, fail to realize uh, in the first game, it, we were up, I think, 33-27 with two minutes to go in the game. And, and we get a stop. And, and then Jakari breaks one for about 50. And, and then we intercept the last play of the game and run it back for 100 yards to, to get the final score. But... Uh, you know, it was a dog fight, man. We knew it would be. It always is with Stuttgart, and uh, they did a really good job of, uh, of, 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 you know, making us do things that we didn't want to do. And, uh, you know, they kind of controlled the tempo there in the second half where I thought first half we did. You know, we, we kind of lined up, ran the football, got down on the first drive, was unable to score, and, and uh, was, was really kind of dominating and gave up only one play on, on defense. You know, we didn't fit right on one play, and, and they went 81 yards. And, and uh, and then we gave up a couple more big plays in the second half, which was which was uh, which was not good. But you know we got a fortunate turnover there at the end. Was able to to make a play and, and get the ball back, and and then uh, you know able to score with about 15 seconds to go. Well, when we were sitting there watching things in the last few minutes, uh, uh, Rob Reed turned, looked at me, and said, "I think this may be who gets the ball last. May uh, may win." Both teams were playing very well, and uh, especially on offense and. But you got the turnover. Right, we did. And we, and we felt that if, if we wanted the ball last, and I, we felt the same way as far as just the way, way it was set up. And then when we scored with two minutes to go and they had two minutes on the clock, you know, as a coach, you're thinking, okay, now what, you know, you know the scenarios that could play out. But, you know, our defense stepped up. Uh, you know, we, we made a big stop on first down. Uh, they got a penalty, made it second and 15. And then uh, and obviously we made a big hit and, and, and then a, and a recovery. and. And, uh, and then was able to score in three plays. Well, another tremendous performance from Cedric Calvert and your offensive line uh, for good, most of the game. Uh, talk about that a minute. Right. You know, we had some, some runs called back, too, some big runs called back that, that was unfortunate. But, you know, Cedric, Cedric play, he keeps playing, playing hard, really hard. And, uh, you know, offensive lines just, you know, we, we lean on them a lot, which we knew that all year. I mean, it's a lot of guys, a lot of them guys have played a lot of football for us. And, you know, this time of year when it gets cold and, you know, you better be able to run the football. And uh, we, we were able to do that. You know, Cedric had 34 carries. Uh, you know, he had, you know, 200, right at 200 yards. And you had Jakari with, you know, I think he had, you know, 10 or 12 carries. And then, you know, Maddox had, had, had 10 or 12 carries. And so, I mean, it was real spread out, you know, after Cedric. But you, know, you just can't say enough about the kid. You know, he's been a lot to our program the last three years. And, you know, he's battling through some things, but he just keeps giving us everything he's got. And he's so tough and just hard nosed. And, you know, I'm glad he's on our football team. Statistically, the passing uh, may not have been completion to number of throws ratio all that great. But Riley made some really good throws when you really needed them. I thought second half he played really well. You know, first half he struggled a little bit. I think he'd tell you that. But – you know, second half he settled down and, and just played and let it come to him like he'd been doing. And, uh, you know, we, we was able to take, make some big throws. He made some big throws down the stretch. But, you know, we want to be more balanced, and we will be. I mean, we have been all year. It was just a deal where, you know, what they were doing uh, up front we felt good about. And, you know, we was just, you know, Cedric was running the ball so good. And, you know, and, and we, we just kept giving it to him. Well, great win. That was a quarterfinal game. Great win for the Lumberjacks. But it don't get any easier. <laughs> got uh, Joe T. Robinson. We got a little history with them, but they'll be coming to Warren. That's something else to make sure everybody remembers again. Uh, game will be here uh, Friday night at Jim Hurley Jr. Stadium. 7 o'clock kickoff. And once again, got to order those tickets online. So right, we want to yeah. keep reminding everybody <laughs> to do that and uh, get as many people there as possible. But talk about Joe T. Normal Joe T, you know, speed everywhere. They're big, they're physical, uh, they're extremely talented. Um, you know, they, they, they do so much on offense uh, and they got so many weapons they can hurt you with. And, 
you know, 16, they had, they had five or six with Jackson and Fells and Page and, and uh, you know, Sobota and, and all them guys. And, and then, you know, in 17, they had Cesar Warren and, and, um, and then Nathan Page was a senior. And, you know, so this year, same guys, man. You got Cersei at running back. You got, you know, number one at receiver, number two at receiver, number seven at receiver. And, man, they're just so talented. And then they're so big up front. You're probably going to see the biggest lineman you've seen. I mean, 6'8", 375 pounds. Uh, he's, you know, got a scholarship offer to Arkansas. I think he might be committed to Arkansas. And, you know, they're big up front and physical. And, you know, they, they, they do what they do. They do it really well. And, uh, you know, people people have trouble slowing them down. And then defensively, they, they run the football extremely well. And, uh, you know, they're very well coached on, on both sides of the football. And they do a really good job there, you know. And and, 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 and the history tells you that, you know, this time of the year, they, they played a lot. You know, they, they've been here. And, you know, it's been some big ball games with Warren and Joe T. And, and this will be no different. Well, uh... You know, when you get to this point, most everybody's fairly good anyway. Uh, right. or, or they hadn't been real lucky. They're very good, and uh, Joe T certainly fits into that category. But uh, uh, I know you've got a game plan to try to, you know, you got to compete with them and just battle to the end. Yeah, you know, we can't give up a big play. You know, we, we gave up too many big plays last week. Uh, the 81-yard run, like we talked about earlier, then we gave a big long pass play down the left sideline there in the, in the third quarter or fourth quarter. At, you know, that stuff can't happen against them. I mean, they're, they're, they got speed everywhere. And, you know, if we do that, it'll be a long night. So, you know, we, we just got to go do what we do. Um, you know, our kids just got to, you know, show up, play hard, and and then, uh, you know, see what happens. And, you know, they, they, they do. They, they're really good. You know, they got one loss on the year. I mean, it's the Pulaski Academy who's playing in a, in a 5A state championship game. We got one loss to Whitehall who's playing in a 5A state championship game. And so it's uh, – it's it's a unique situation. Uh, you know, we do have some history with them, but it's been these kids right here don't know that. I mean, they, yeah. I mean, when in '17, I think they were all eighth graders. You know, they might have been at the game, but as far as us playing Joe T, they don't, they don't, they don't, they, don't, they wasn't on the field, or, or I mean, them two games didn't mean to mean nothing to them, like you know, like this game does. Well, it is an important game, but you're where you want to be, and. Uh, we just again want to encourage. Let's get a big crowd of lumberjack fans out crowd. there. This yeah. is this is what it's all about. Where we are right now, uh, obviously one of the top programs in Arkansas, and certainly in Class 4A, and uh, this is going to be a heavyweight battle. It's going to be, and we need everybody. I mean, we need everybody. You know, this is these kids that gave everything they can to this town and community, and you know, this is a community game here. You know, you, you know, to, yeah. when we went there in '17, you know, we filled it up, and boy, and that helped us so much, and. And we need that Friday night. You know, we, we need we need that behind us, and, and our kids need it. They deserve it. I mean, they've earned that right to have that, and and I think we will. You know, I, I really do. I hope so. And you know, hopefully we can we can get a huge crowd. I know that you know a bunch of people been you know sitting at home watching it on TV, but you know it's uh we need we need to get we need to get back in the stands. Well, it's not nothing's like being there, no <laughs> matter what. I mean, I you know, occasionally have to watch something on TV too, but it's. It's a lot better to be there, especially right. for lumberjack football, and uh, encourage folks to be there and be supportive yeah. when they're there as yeah. well. So, Coach, we thank you. We wish you all the best. Let's go, Lumberjacks. We'll be there. All right. Thank you.